I got a suggestion a while ago on a video topic to do and how to get over a girl or an ex-girlfriend and the best advice I can think of for this is red pill knowledge and red pill awareness and that's going to be your best basis for getting over a girl. Now me, I've never had a serious long-term girlfriend myself at 26. Some people think that's weird, but I've always been red pill even before I was aware of what the term was. And I've had sex, I've had relationships with girls, but I've never had a serious long-term girlfriend. And even um, two years ago, the, sh the TV show The Bachelorette, they contacted me to apply for the Hannah Brown season of that show. And so I went through their application process and um, I did the written part and then I, they scheduled a Skype interview. And one of the questions was list your previous uh, long-term relationships and uh, what happened, details, and why did it end. And uh, I put, I've never had a serious relationship. And in the Skype interview, they asked me about that. And I was 24 at the time. And I'm just like, there's no point. Like, you know, like, what's the point to just like, which have a girlfriend for the sake of having a girlfriend? Like, even like in high school and college, like I could just see the um, fluid nature of things. I was always more focused on like myself and my own goals. Like in high school, I was student body president. I went to an all guy high school, Catholic high school, but we had like an all girl Catholic high school. There was like our sister school. So like kind of joint schools that uh, weren't on the same campus, but it was like the brother sister school thing. But even that, like I was always focused on like myself and my own progression and like what I want to do with my own life I always saw the fluid nature of life like after high school everybody leaves and goes different directions then goes to college after college everyone leaves goes different directions things happen dynamics I always had that like mature understanding even from a young age so um, it, it, for me I was always like red pill before I even knew what it was and even going to a Catholic school I never identified as Catholic myself I went from preschool to 12th grade Catholic school I never considered myself Catholic even as a little kid like as an eight-year-old kid I'd always have questions like well why is that this way or like why, why is that other religion just wrong or like I, I would always have curiosity I always had that mature stance so when it came to relationships too it's just kind of like why have a girlfriend just for the sake of it like just just because just because we're it, it, we're in a time where like homecoming's coming up so like just because that's your date for the homecoming just make her your girlfriend like I've never had that sort of uh, mentality with it and even too like I with the bachelorette I, I told them in the Skype interview I'm just like with the long-term girlfriend thing like say we're in college and we're attracted to each other okay so we're attracted to each other similar body types uh, we're in the same place same time same age so just make her my girlfriend like what if she graduates gets a degree then gets a job opportunity in New York and so she's with a decision now do we stay in California to make this relationship work or does she pursue her job and I'm not stupid like she's gonna go for her job she's gonna go to advance her life so now if we're in this relationship do I move to New York with her it, 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 am I even able to move to New York based on my fa finances my circumstance and, and if we do the long distance thing which I wouldn't do because it never works and people that do just really naive thinking that nothing's gonna happen but if we do the long distance thing, like, how do I know who she's with? What, I'm gonna see her on Christmas and like once in the summer and then like six months in between, you just think it's faithful and it's working out? Like it just, it at, you know, late teens, early 20s, like that time of just like, oh, you should just have a girlfriend just because, like I just never saw it like that. So even at 26 now, I've never had like a long-term consistent girlfriend. I'm fine with that. I don't think it's embarrassing. I just, I've always been red pill, even before I was even aware of what that term even was. I've always just had like a consciousness about myself and I can kind of see things and like, I can see even like now selling tie dye in San Diego. I'm at the beach, I'm at the San Diego Zoo, I'm in the downtown spots. Like, I'm everywhere. I'm selling tie dye shirts to men, women, and like women that are traveling themselves from out of town and they're by themselves or with their group of friends and they have husbands back home or boyfriends and I mean they don't care like they just you know like I'm like I'm not dumb like I can see past it I'm not just it doesn't like motivate me to just like have my own girlfriend when this guy's girlfriend is here you know being a little bit questionable I'm just gonna I'm just gonna keep it at that so um yeah like I, I just think red pill awareness and red pill knowledge is the way you're gonna get over somebody so like I've had um I've had deep connections with certain women like um, whether it's a spiritual thing or just like an emotional thing or um, Just a time and place where like a, a certain woman gets me and I get her on a certain level um, I had you know my feelings on certain things of like um, how we ended or separated or whatever even though we weren't long-term like boyfriend girlfriend I've had um, my own feelings on that and like seeing her move on or do whatever but my uh, way of getting over that or understanding it is one, understanding my part in it, understanding what I could have done better, what I could have seen, 
and then um, understanding from her perspective too because right now uh, selling this tie-dye and I do a little bit of modeling too um, I have my own place in San Diego a little back house um, I, I have no roommates no girlfriend so it's cool to have like a little bachelor pad but California rent is expensive I can barely afford my own living so I can afford living by myself with no roommates and no girlfriend, but I don't have a bunch of extra money just like laying around. So like, I don't have money for like expensive dates or to like go traveling with her or just like what she might consider like a relationship or if she wants a kid, like hell no, I definitely don't have the money for that. So it's like, if I'm just like barely getting by, it's like, yeah, you can come over to my crib and we can uh, just like chill and have a good time. But like, no, I'm not like going out to dinner. We're not like going to the movies. We're not, I'm not gonna like spend money. We're not gonna go to like um, Florida for like a week or something. Like we're just not gonna do that. So at 26, if she meets a guy that's like 30 and like he's uh, in a financial situation where he just provides that, I can't compete with that financially. If she just decides to monkey branch and go on, I mean, I can feel a certain way about it, but if I'm looking at it with red pill truth, red pill awareness, okay, she saw a guy with different resources or whatever and uh, provided her more. Like if he just says, hey, come on this trip with me uh, to go traveling around the world and she's in her 20s and I can't provide that trip, I'm not going to sit around like, well, how come she left me or like, how come she's with him? Like, I have enough red pill awareness to just get over it and it, to, to just see it. and. It can hurt if um, you're not red pill aware because you don't understand certain things, why she sees the other guys more attractive or um, better for her than you are. And sometimes she'll leave without an explanation. She won't give you the explanation that you think that you deserve or want. And so um, uh, you start to call into question a lot of things and it can hurt. But the best way to get over any of that with a girl is really just red pill awareness. It's just red pill truth. It's red pill knowledge. It's understanding your part in it too. Like um, as much as you might feel hurt about a girl or um, what a girl did or uh, what she said, um, you have your part in things too. So understand when you have wronged a girl in the past or when you could have seen something different, um, when you could have handled something different. Like if a girl is genuinely right now like looking for a guy where she wants like um, a kid and she wants like something stable and I'm just in this phase where like I'm not looking for that because I'm, I'm red pill aware so I know that she's not mine right she's she's not just mine like she like so I'm already red pill aware to know that so there's other things going on so I'm gonna take into account how she's viewing my finances or how she's viewing my attractiveness and so if a girl's genuinely looking for that and her and I are hooking up or whatever and then after hooking up she she has the question of like oh so what are we or you know like uh, what's next and I'm just like well nothing sorry I'm just gonna keep selling tie-dye work on my YouTube channel um, get my goals accomplished uh, stay healthy stay in shape um, read something, get more enlightened, work on myself spiritually, financially, emotionally, physically, mentally, all of that. So I'm just kind of like, yeah, like it was fun while it was, and but I'm just not looking to like commit to you, you know? So, I mean, I have my part in affecting how she feels too. So when it happens to me, it, you know, you, you got to have a little bit of awareness of your own hypocrisy. And a lot of my content too, when I talk about uh, men and women and uh, the dynamics between that, um, I'm talking about a lot of red pill truths and it, some of it is very funny, but at the same time you have to understand yourself and you have to laugh at yourself. You have to understand your own hypocrisy. You have to understand your own ability to affect people. Um, it's not just like the world is doing things to you. You're not just always the victim. Sometimes you're the perpetrator and um, it's really just understanding that 50-50 balance of it. It's um, You can't get too um, emotional about certain things. Like, and then the other thing too, getting over the ex, um, you gotta be a red pill aware to the point of, if, if she just, if you see her hooking up with like some 6'5 bodybuilder one day, it's like, okay, she like it's a tall guy, he's ripped and she just went to have a good time, had sex, like, you're not a 6'5 bodybuilder. So it's like, you know, you can, you can get inspired and like go to the gym yourself or you can like eat healthy yourself or you can like improve yourself or focus more on a job or a career or something like get like you don't have to take it from the stance of just getting hurt by it even though she chose the other guy over you once in a while you can take a step back and you can get inspired and you can understand um, how you can improve or what you did wrong in a certain situation so even though I've never had a long-term girlfriend um, I, I think that's just the best way of getting over a girl in general, whether it's an ex-girlfriend or just a girl that you're hooking up with or you have some kind of connection with. Even if you don't have the label of boyfriend, girlfriend, maybe you're together for a certain period and you have that connection in some way and it falls apart for whatever reason. Have the red pill awareness. Um, it can hurt. 
but it just like have red pill awareness and you can kind of understand more of where she's coming from understand what life actually is as a human species like any other species when we're out here in the world trying to survive and um, put food on the table and live and pay rent um, if you can't provide certain things like if you can't provide resources or if you can't sexually satisfy her she's gonna look for it in a different way so um, really getting over the girl is understanding red pill awareness understanding yourself understanding your own hypocrisy your own ironies being able to laugh at yourself that's huge not just with getting over women but just be having a good energy in life just laugh at yourself like it don't take stuff so seriously there's a, enough in life that's serious already so just um yeah just just really understand uh, the red pill truth of things really be able to see like yourself in a third person context like you're uh your height, your weight, your genetics, bone structure, um, facial features, where you are financially, your social skills, um, what you're trying to accomplish in the world, uh, even your race. Like she just might not like what you are because she's not, she's not used to what you are. Like she, she comes from a certain community or a culture or a religion and you're the different thing. And so it just throws her off. And yeah, you can work around it. Um, but I mean, it can be something so petty or something that you have no control over it doesn't uh, doesn't matter. Like, don't waste your time on stuff you have no control over. It's like the the Bachelorette thing I was talking about. It, had they picked me for that season, that's the the number one dating TV show in the country. If I went on that season two years ago on the Hannah Brown season in the Instagram age, I might have 500,000 Instagram followers right now. Women from across the country who watch that show just because I was picked for that show. So it's like you, you might think, oh well, this guy got it easy he got it made like how lucky but it's like whoever they pick that's just the guy that gets that spot so like do I really have 500,000 women or is it like just like position because someone picked me for that spot you know it's like it's all illusion 